Thank you for waiting. It's a pleasure to meet you. And what are we working on today? Well, Doc, I've been feeling... I'm not a doctor. I'm a psychologist, just so you know. Oh, sure thing. Well, I'm feeling stressed all the time, and quite honestly, I think I'm depressed. How long have you had the depression? About two and a half years. Hmm, that just keeps getting worse. Look, I know that's tough, but I think I can help you help yourself get to the other side of this depression. Help me help myself. What do you mean? We find that most often depression is denial. Denial about a true reality in your life. Now that reality, it's not something you want, it's uncomfortable, so you avoid acknowledging it with denial. But that denial over time turns into depression and it weighs heavy on you. So in our work together, getting through the depression really means getting through the denial to the truth that you're currently not seeing. And though it may be uncomfortable, the truth shall set you free. But you have to come to your own conclusions. Otherwise, if someone were to just tell you, even though it might be obvious, you won't see it. So you'll stay stuck in the denial and depression. Does that make sense? I never thought of it that way, but yeah, I'm ready to dive in. Great. Now, starting at the surface, what do you tend to focus on the most that seems to stress you out? Oh man, I think a lot about what's going on in the world, all the problems we have. It's like they're deliberately trying to destroy our country and the entire world. Who? Who's trying to destroy our world? People just not taking this outbreak seriously. I mean, we're in the middle of a deadly outbreak and it's like these people just want to watch others die. It infuriates me. They refuse to do their part thinking, oh, they're just using this to roll out some kind of passport system. Have you ever considered that they did try to do that? No, they didn't. And they currently are doing that in other countries? I don't think so. That's just some kind of stupid conspiracy theory. You, you just don't see that that actually is happening? No. I obviously can't just tell you to see it, but try to see what you're currently not seeing about that. I don't see it. What if you just imagine that that was happening? What then? Then it would be really scary. Yeah, but I don't see it. You don't? No, like with the nation's top practicing doctor, like Fauci leading the way, Nothing like that would be going on. You think he's a practicing doctor? But yeah, that's how he knows what works and what doesn't. How else do you think he'd be coming up with the advice that he gives to all Americans? Well, it takes a lot of time to run a medical practice and he works full time for the government. But yeah, at least thank God we have the government putting policies in place to protect us. Could you imagine how much worse things would be if we didn't have those public servants putting their self-interest aside in order to serve our best interests? Uh-huh. Tell me more, like, if they weren't doing that. I don't know. I mean, I think of all the tragedies in third world countries. They don't have reliable power. They have food supply issues. Their leaders imprison political rivals. They tried to usher in communism. Like all the weapons of mass destruction they had in Iraq, people suffer. And they do all this while deceiving people so they don't see what they're doing when they're doing it. What if that was happening here? No, I don't see it. I mean, I turn on CNN every day to find out what's really going on in the world. And even though it ain't good, my only peace of mind is seeing our leaders reassuring us that they're working hard for us to solve all the problems that suddenly came about when they took office. With those desolate countries and those scary scenarios that you mentioned, let's just live in that world for a second. What do you think their leaders say when they go on TV? They probably say something like our leaders say. What's the difference? Theirs would be lying. Sometimes it's hard to have hope, even with Biden running the show. You think Biden's running the show? Yeah. Could you imagine what things would be like if Trump was still running things? Yeah, I can. Horrible, right? The guy's a fascist racist. Okay. What makes you see him that way? You just flip on the news every day for the past eight years and it's really easy to learn about him. That guy spreads racism like he's Johnny Appleseed. But silver lining in that situation, at least he's out. So now we can be implementing social justice programs that advance people or hold them back based on their race. 
Did you say you're for or against racism? Against it. But it's nuts. It keeps perpetuating somehow. I mean, we can put a man on the moon, but we can't figure out how to end racism. You think we did that whole moon landing thing? Yeah, but I must admit, and I've never said this before, I don't always feel comfortable inside my own body. Well, with depression that's not abnormal, what specifically feels uncomfortable to you? Well, I'm non-binary, and it's really hard for me to just, like, feel that. Did you play imagination a lot when you were a kid? Yeah, I don't anymore, though. I'm a grown-up. Who told you you're non-binary? No one. I just feel that's the way I am. Well, you literally just said you can't feel it. Yeah, well, it's more of just a uh, knowing. So how do you know? Like, when I watch some of my favorite stars, they're all like, hey, I'm non-binary now all of a sudden. And I watch them as people express their authenticity while they're acting, and I really resonate with that. And seeing them have the courage to come out as non-cis has given me the courage to come out as the same so I can be like them because I am like them. Can you potentially see that you're not them and trying to be like them causes you to deny being the person that you actually are? Well, I know I'm not actually them. I'm just saying I've got a lot in common with Hollywood celebrities that I don't know personally. Thankfully, we have people like that to look up to. Otherwise, all we'd have in society is these tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs always being transphobic, saying there's a new world order. I don't think that's transphobic. And that they're out to do a world takeover by installing a one-world government. Have you ever heard of the World Economic Forum? Good point. They'd probably be the ones protecting us from some new world order if one actually existed. But these tinfoil hat wearing lunatics who probably think their own shadows out to get them say, oh no, this reptilian race crossbred with humans, and now these reptilian DNA sporting people are taking over governments, including to form a system of enslavement for humanity. And the Clintons are all involved in it. By the way, Bill was quite the ladies man. Talk about the Clinton body count. Wait. What did you just say? Clinton body count. Well, that's something to work with right there. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'm just saying, and it's no secret, Bill banged a lot of women. He's got a pretty high body count. Finally, our time is up for today. Look, I'm gonna write you a prescription. This will take care of everything, all of your depression, and you'll be a happy, peaceful person once again. Stop watching TV. What for? Like. The side effect alone of not knowing what's going on in the world might kill me. Like, I'm not doing this. That's not even a prescription for a medication. Like, are you trying to deny me the perfectly ideal treatments that pharmaceutical companies selflessly develop solely for the purpose of helping people? You're